<laughs> and woo her with some spirit when she comes. Say that she rail. Why, then I'll tell her plain. She sings as sweetly as a nightingale. <laughs> say that she frown. Well, then I'll say she looks as clear as morning roses, newly washed with dew. <laughs> say she be mute and will not speak a word. Then I'll commend her volubility and say she uttereth piercing eloquence. <laughs> if she do bid me pack, I'll give her thanks as though she bid me stay by her a week. <laughs> if she deny to wed, then I'll crave the day when I shall ask the bands and when be married. No, Mama, no! <laughs> but here she comes. Get out and now, Petruchio, speak. <laughs> <laughs> Good morrow, Kate. Well, that's your name, I hear. Well, have you heard but something hard of hearing? They call me Catherine that do talk of me. You lie. It if faith, you are called plain Kate and bonnie Kate and sometimes Kate the Cursed. But Kate, the prettiest Kate in Christendom, Kate of Kate Hall, my super dainty Kate, for dainties are all Kates. And therefore, Kate, take this of me, Kate of my consolation, hearing thy mildness praised in every town, thy <laughs> virtue spoke of, and thy beauty sounded, yet not so deeply as to thee belongs. <clears throat> Myself am moved to woo thee for my wife. Moved? In good time. Let he who moved you hither remove you hence. I knew you at the first you were immovable. Oh! <laughs> Why? What's immovable? A joint stool. Thou hast hit it. Come, sit on me. Asses are made to bear, and so are you. Women <laughs> are made to bear, and so are you. No such jade as you, if me you mean. Alas, good Kate, I will not burden thee for knowing thee to be but young and light. <laughs> <laughs> Too light for such a swain as you to catch, yet as heavy as my weight should be. Should be, should buzz. Well tan and like a buzzard. Oh, slow a turtle. Shall a buzzard take thee? Aye, as a turtle takes a buzzard. <sighs> come, come, you wasp of faith, you are too angry. If I be waspish, best beware my sting. Uh, <laughs> my remedy is then to pluck it out. Aye, if the fool could find it where it lies. Who knows not where a wasp does wear his sting? In his tail. In his tongue. Whose tongue? Yours, if you talk of tails, and so farewell. What? Oh. With my tongue in your tail? <laughs> Nay, good Kate, come again. I am a gentleman. That I'll try. I swear I'll cuff you if you strike again. Why then may you lose your arms. If you strike me, you are no gentleman. And if no gentleman, why then, no arms. A herald, Kate? Oh, put me in thy books. What is your crest, a cock's comb? Combless cock, so Kate will be my hen. No cock of mine, you crow to like a craven. Nay, hear you, Kate, and sooth you skate not so. I chafe you if I tarry, let me go! No, not a whit! I find you passing gentle. Twas told me you were rough and coy and sullen, and now I find report of airy liar, for thou art pleasant, gamesome, passing courteous. Thou canst not frown, thou canst not look askance, nor bite the lip as angry wenches will. But thou with mildness entertainest thy wooers, with gentle conference soft and affable. Why does the world report that Kate doth limp? Oh, slanderous world, Kate like the hazel twig is straight and slender and as brown in hue as hazelnuts and sweeter than the kernel. Oh, let me see thee walk. Thou doth not halt. Go, fool, and whom thou keep's command. Did ever Diane so become a grove as Kate this chamber with her princely gait? Oh, be thou Diane, and let her be Kate. Then let Kate be chaste and Diane sportful. <laughs> Where did you learn such goodly speech? It is extempa from my mother wit. 
witching mother, witless else her son. Am I not wise? Yes, keep you warm. Mary, so I mean, sweet Catherine, <laughs> in thy bed. No! Therefore, setting all this chat aside, thus, in plain terms, your mother hath consented that you shall be my wife, your dowry agreed on, and will you, nil you, I will marry you. Now, Kate, I am a husband for your turn, for by this light, whereby I see thy beauty, thy beauty that doth make me love thee well, thou must be married to no man but me. For I am he, am born to tame you, Kate, and bring you from a wild Kate to a Kate conformable as other household Kate. Here comes your mother. Never make denial. I must and will have Catherine to my wife. 